Hey, what's up guys? Mario back again with another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to go over three stocks that I invested today in my long-term account. Uh, and I'm going to go over all the details, the fundamental analysis, as well as the technical analysis in terms of what were the reasons why I decided to invest in these companies. Now, one of them is Square. Uh, and the main reason why I decided to invest in Square is because of what happened last week with the debacle with Robinhood and not letting investors uh, buy uh, GameStop and, and EMC and things like that. Uh, and the reason why is because they own the Cash App, the, the, the software you guys see behind me. Uh, the Cash App actually allows you not only to send money, receive money, it's also like a little bank system in your phone, uh, but allows you to buy stocks and also Bitcoin. And I'm gonna talk about that in more in detail. Now I'm gonna talk about two more stocks in this video as well so don't forget to ask questions down below guys let me know what you guys think and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel down below let me share my screen and let's get started okay let's do that okay so let's get started so pretty much um let's go over the technical analysis of square uh and i'm going to go over the technical analysis of each company and then go over the fundamental and and of course and why i decided to buy so Square has been trending ever since the pandemic uh, low market lows of March uh, 2020. Square has had this amazing run, trend, insane trend from the lows of 50s all the way to 226. Uh, so we're talking almost like uh, like five, uh, four times, uh, 400%, you could say, uh, a little bit over more than that. And the trend continues. Um, and one thing that I want to mention in terms of the technical analysis, every time it bounces off the 50 day moving average, and you guys can see here, bounce right here, it bounced right here, and now it just bounced off right here. It tends to make a decent move. So technically, um, I really like uh, that it bounced off the support area and it looks like it's going to continue to trend. The market is also trending, the volatility went down. I know last week there was a little bit of a scare uh, in terms of the volatility of the market selling off. The market has recovered um, and the volatility has died out, which is really, really bullish overall market. <clears throat> now let's look at the fundamentals. And why the fundamentals? So in terms of the fundamentals, I'm gonna go over the uh, Squares uh, Investor Relations uh, website. And I'm gonna scroll down to this page right here. Uh, let's go all the way down right here into this Bitcoin investment white paper. When you click on this button, and I highly recommend you guys to start doing this on your own um, to kind of get used to uh, reading uh, investment financial information to help you make better investment decisions. When you click on this button, of course, it's going to take you to this link right here. It's going to go over Square's Bitcoin investments. So Square, on October 7th, 2020, Square purchased approximately 4,709 Bitcoins at an aggregate of purchase price of $50 million. So Square pretty much invested $50 million into Bitcoin. Uh, now, Square has been the leader in the Bitcoin space since 2018 through our cash app product. And that's the product that I want to talk about today, the cash app product. Now, this cash app product provides customers the ability to buy and sell Bitcoin uh, as believers in Bitcoin's potential for continuing future growth. The company formed Square Crypto and independent teams, teams slow, solely focus on contributing to Bitcoin open source work for the benefit of all. So I want you to kind of like just understand that, guys. This is a S&P 500 company. Um, huge corporation that has invested $50 million worth of Bitcoin and also allows uh, people to buy and sell Bitcoin. So for all those people who are still like, you know, not sure about Bitcoin, uh, who are like, oh, no, Bitcoin is a fraud or is a scam, is a pump and dump. Guys, institutions, companies, everybody's getting into good. This just le legitimizes Bitcoin and how important it is uh, and I, again, I cannot stress enough how important it is to know about this uh, product, this, this, uh, this, this Bitcoin and learn about cryptocurrencies. OK, so let's go over the cash app. So this is the cash app, you know, owned by uh, Bitcoin that a lot, uh, excuse me, owned by Square 
that allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin and there's other services. So I actually really, really like Cash App. I don't have it, but I'm actually going to download it and start using it for several reasons. One, it's a payment system. You could send and receive money, pretty much what Venmo does. It's pretty cool, you know, send and receive money uh, from people, um, you know, which is pretty awesome. And you could also tip and things like that and donate money to, to uh, porn causes. It's actually really, really cool. Uh, it's like banking system. You could actually receive your paycheck. You could actually set up a system where you could you receive your deposits from your work, from your paycheck, and receive them straight to your uh, cash app, which you can use, then again, use that money to uh, buy stuff that you need uh, using the, even the app or even invest in the stock market, invest your money, uh, which is pretty awesome. Now, the cool thing about this, you don't have to deposit all your check to your cash app. You could just deposit like, I don't know, 50 bucks a month, a hundred bucks a month. Uh, and so you could kind of, you know, automatic, automatically deposit the money into your cash app. So you could start investing in, which makes it a lot easier for investing because the biggest problem people have when it comes down to investing is behavioral finance because of behavioral finance. So when something is not easy and simple, uh, we just not tend not to do it. You know, we all know we have to invest in the stock market. We all know we have to do the research, but because it's difficult to do it, it's difficult to go into your bank account and make a transfer uh, every single week or every bi-weekly, you know, we don't really do it, you know? But with the cash app, the banking system part of it, you could directly deposit part of your check to your cash app and then use the money to invest in the stock market or invest in buying a cryptocurrency. Amazing, I love this part of it. Uh, actually, you could even do a uh, tax return, which is pretty crazy, so. Um, now there's other benefits, the cash card and boost the cash cash card is a free customizable debit card that lets you pay online and in stores. <clears throat> it's the only way to get boost, which is pretty much instant discounts that work at places where you want to spend money. Uh, so this is a pretty cool system that allows you to get discounts on the things that you like. Uh, and then they kind of show a little example, like the plus PlayStation network, you get a 10% off on each purchase using this cash card and boost. And of course we come down to investing. And this is where, again, the reason why I really like this because you are able to invest in the stocks. So for a lot of people who are new to investing have no idea about investing in the stock market who have, who, you know, find it very, very complicated, you know, you know, going through like, for example, um, for going going through charts like this or, or looking at candlesticks and it is very very difficult cash app makes it so simple to invest um and actually you only really need to need a dollar to start investing the great thing about the cash app it, it, it does a lot of what's called fractional shares so you don't really need to buy a whole share of a stock to invest you could actually start investing with as little as a dollar so imagine investing a dollar a day or, 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 or $5 a day in a stock market and eventually using dollar cost average uh, to grow your, your, your wealth over time. Uh, and you're able to do that with the cash out. So it makes it, makes it very simple. <clears throat> now, one thing that I really, really like about the cash app that is different from other uh, apps like Robinhood and, and even Weeble is that uh, cash app allows you to buy Bitcoin uh, and not only just buy Bitcoin, but you could actually send Bitcoin, take out Bitcoin from your cash app and send it to another uh, wallet, uh, like your Coinbase account or even your cold storage wallet. This is huge. I actually really, really love this uh, feature uh, from the cash app. Uh, and again, not a lot of people allow it. Uh, I know Robinhood doesn't allow to take money out of your uh, out of your um, Robinhood account, uh, excuse me, to take a lot, take Bitcoin out of your Robinhood account, but the Cash App does, and I love this feature. And actually, this is the main reason why I'm going to open up a, a Cash App account because it's it's kind of important to have multiple uh, places where you uh, store Bitcoin. Um, and having the Cash App, having Coinbase, having a hard wallet, uh, you know, you want to diversify that. Um, just to kind of protect yourself in case one, one of them gets hacked or you lose your password, something, you know, silly, which it, it has happened. So that's the reason why. And again, guys, uh, one thing that I kind of want to mention is that I am very bullish and square. And again, last week, as you guys remember, a lot of people were very uh, upset with Robinhood 
uh, because they pretty much did not allow them to buy uh, GameStop and AMC and, and kind of just messed them up, you know, and, it, and it's really unfortunate they, were, they did that. Uh, so a lot of people, of course, have complained and a lot of people are leaving the Robinhood app. And we're talking about millions and millions of users and those millions and millions of users need somewhere to, of course, store their money. And the Cash App is going to be one of the platforms that's going to benefit. Of course, if the Cash App benefits, Square is going to benefit and the Square stock is going to benefit. Uh, so that's the reason why I am bullish in Square. So now let's move on to the second company. The second company that I'm looking at is uh, Roku. Uh, Roku, uh, again, has had an insane type of move as well, uh, up 400% since uh, the March uh, lows, um, and it's trending. The market is trending. It finally had a little a pullback here, but it looks like it's holding. Um, so in terms of the technical analysis, it looks very bullish. The trend is intact, uh, and I really, really like that to continue. Now, in terms of the, the fundamentals, one of the things that I really, really like is this art, this, uh, this press release that they, they, they had recently uh, released on January 8, 2021. So this year. So this press release from their investment relations website says, Roku TV is the number one selling smart TV operating system in the US and Canada. So that is huge. Um, and all these numbers, of course, are going to eventually show up in their earnings report. And their earnings report is actually going to be actually, uh, they haven't really announced it, but it's estimated it's going to be on, on uh, February 11th. Uh, so usually when companies uh, release earnings, if they, if, it's, if they beat earnings and, and revenue and all that kind of stuff, usually there's a big spike in the, in the company earnings. Actually, one thing that I also forgot to mention is that Square also is going to have their earnings on um, February 23rd. And again, during these earnings, we're going to see, we're going to see if the cash app has increased its user base. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna be watching out for that when they release the earnings to see if a cash up has benefited from the, from the uh, exodus of Robinhood users uh, and hopefully uh, cash up uh, takes some of their users. Again, no, uh, February 23rd. Uh, so going back to Roku, uh, again, um, you know, it, it's the number one TV, uh, number, number one selling a smart TV operating system in the US and Canada. So again, that is huge. The stock is trending. Um, the also the uh, the analyst upgrades look really good. So I'm very bullish on Roku as well. Now the third company I want to talk about is Target. <clears throat> and Target, the reason why I'm, I'm very bullish on Target is because it's retail. It's actually one of the only retail companies um, that has really benefited uh, from you know uh, what's been happening with the pandemic and things like that. You know people kind of usually go to their their you know comfort zone when when things uh, are bad or 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 when things are not working the well they want it and Target is is that place I mean everybody loves Target I love Target I go to Target actually since this pandemic started I actually ended up buying more clothes at Target than anywhere else because all the malls were closed so I bought my clothes at Target I bought food at Target I bought you know things for the house at Target Target pretty much has everything so. And I even bought like systems. So even like, for example, PS5, uh, the Nintendo Switch games, you know, you can find those at Target. So they're, they benefit from all the retail stuff. Uh, so again, and it shows on the chart. Again, uh, they've actually also almost doubled since the, the March lows and since the pandemic. <clears throat> so, you know, one thing to always keep in mind, guys, is when, it also, when you're looking for investment ideas, you know, think about where you've shopped, where, where you spend your money. Where do I spend my money most of the time? Where do I go to shopping? And those are some of the time, times one of the best investments you can make um, in your portfolio. And Target for me is definitely one of them. Uh, and not just for me, but for a lot of people, you know. So if you, if you, if you go to the, the uh, Target uh, investment relations page, um, you know, you're gonna see what's called a Target provides update on holiday sales because the holiday sales, what really matters. Um, and if you open this page right here, you get a, a little sense of what's really going on in terms of your holiday sales and, <clears throat> and check this out. So for the November, December period, now November, of course, we're talking about Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales, December, you know, of course, Christmas, you know, holiday spending. So in terms of comparable sales, they grew 17.2%, reflecting comparable store sales growth of 4.2% and comparable digital sales growth of 102%. The e-commerce digital sales are skyrocketing and Target is absolutely taking advantage of that. 
Traffic increased 4.3% and average ticket increased 12.3%. The company continues to gain market share in all five of its core merchandise categories. Sales growth was strongest in home and, and hard lines. Um, now, same sales on same day services, order pickup, drive up, and ship grew 193%, which makes sense because, because of the pandemic. Uh, people they didn't want to go inside a store and they want to just kind of do an order pickup, drive up, and, and things like that. So, drive up grew, uh, grew more than 500%. And ship grew more than 300%. Approximately 95% of Target sales were fulfilled by its stores. Uh, so this is this is very big, guys. And I, of course, recommend you to read uh, more into this press release. Uh, but overall, Target is killing it. They're doing amazing. Uh, they're doing an amazing job, guys. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend you guys to uh, look into. Uh, in terms of this company, again, I did invest money uh, on Target. I also invested money in Roku and I also invested money in Square. Now, if Target does have an earnings um, earnings uh, release date on March 2nd. So definitely look at that to kind of look at their fourth quarter earnings and all year round earnings. Uh, now they do have a dividend. They do they actually do give dividends. Uh, so there's an, a dividend distribution on November, uh, excuse me, February 16th of 68 cents per share. Uh, so it's nice to get some dividends and some, get some income from, from owning this stock. Uh, so that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Again, ask questions down below in the YouTube comments. Uh, you know, I do answer all your questions. Again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel down below. You guys will hear from me soon. One last thing I want to mention, guys, I am not a financial advisor. All these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes. So I hope you guys learned something from these videos. Uh, so again, you guys will see from here, hear from me soon. Take care.